Hey Alex, it's me, your dad, and uh, I'm up here in Prescott, Arizona. I don't know if you can see the snow coming down. Um, it's coming down in pretty big, heavy snowflakes. Um, pretty cool. I don't know if you can see all this snow coming down. Um, still out here in Prescott, living in the travel trailer, 24-foot travel trailer. There's the excursion. There's the motorcycle, the F-150. A couple of the bicycles over here. Um, and uh, that's where I'm living until so something changes. And guess what? Today, Donald Trump, he's not President Trump. He gave a great speech today, inaugural. It wasn't your normal inauguration speech. He spoke about the same issues he campaigned on. And to me, I was like, holy mackerel, that ain't no little politician speak about this, that, and the other. He's told it like he meant it. And that what he meant was, is, hey, guys, the same things I can't campaigned on, he's going to do. There's a man for you. He's not just a straight politician, a businessman who means business. And if I was one of them congressmen or any other politician or leader, and even in the business world, you can tell he plans on making things happen. And so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully he refunds NASA and we get some humans up there in space. And uh, hopefully he gets uh, NASA, like I said, refunded and get some humans up there on space walking on the moon. Uh, send some spaceships out there to uh, some, you know, literally some, send some astronauts and spaceships up there to uh, Jupiter and to the planets around Jupiter, Mars. And we, we're a generation and a half away from that. And that's where we need to be. And also, I need a better job, and hopefully, with those programs running up, military gets more uh, gets beefed up, and a lot of great things come out of the military, including GPS, which we use for our satellite telephones, our our sat phones, and even these cell phones use GPS. Every navigation system uses it. That's a big part of the military. Uh, it is cold out here. I'm going to go inside real quick, uh, and uh, you know, in a week from today, I'll be recovering. Surgery down there at the VA hospital in Tucson. If you get a chance, come by and see me. Um, what else can I tell you? Not much I can tell you. I uh, love you, buddy. I'm proud of you. I know you're in ninth grade. You're supposedly in robotics. Supposedly you're uh, writing programming, C++, and other stuff as part of your your team, your robotics team. I'm proud of you. I hope it works out. I hope you guys win this year. I hope Vail School and School District does well this year in the competition. I'm sure you will. And I uh, look forward to seeing how the results and everything else comes out. Time I get back inside and uh, I'm going to post a video. Feel free to call me. I'm sorry I didn't make it down this weekend. It was our weekend together. But uh, you know how it goes. I don't have much money. Working that state job doesn't pay much money. Hell, they haven't had a pay raise in nine years. So. But it's a job. Better than a lot of my buddies. They ain't got no jobs. I love you, son. I really do. And I'm proud of you. You take care. Give me a call sometime, man. I'd like to hear from you. And I hope next week by this time you'll have your license. 16 years old. That's awesome, buddy. And, uh, I'm proud of you and I love you. Not much more a dad can tell you. When you have kids, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And you'll understand what I've been going through. I don't want you to go through what I'm going through. But you'll understand it when that time comes. I'm out. And I will talk with you later. Stay warm. Stay cozy. And enjoy the weather down here in Tucson. God bless you. And I will uh, talk with you later. Oh, for everybody else that's watching this video, my mom, my brother Joe, my sister Alexis, sister Tony Dean, sister Judy, her sons Jeremy and uh, Joshua, and the kids, J Jeremy's kids, Joshua, I say hi to them. Brenda, Jennifer, every wife I've ever had, all the girls I dated, all the ones I had sex with, and I remember, I don't remember, your mom, I said, Alex, your mom, April, my ex-wife Linda, see who else, all the buddies of mine in the army who get these video clips, hey, who will hang in there, never ever give up, no matter how tough it gets, to Joe and Scarlett, Scarlett, my sister, Joe, my brother-in-law, Jennifer, all them guys, I love you all, and I tell Noah, Elias, and Liberty, I'm watching out for them, anybody I might be forgetting, I'll try to include you in another video. Um, and hang in there, man. Do the best you can. Never give up. No matter how cold it is, no matter how windy it is, no matter how broke you are, no matter how hungry you are, you just hang in there and you keep doing what you got. Stand on moral high grounds. Always be morally and ethically justified. Do the right things in life. Always do the right things. No matter how tough it is, no matter how cold it is, no matter how hungry you are. Have hope where hopelessness is. 
Trust in God. Read that Bible. Say your prayers morning, noon, and night. Or seriously, when you wake up, say a prayer. In the middle of the day, say a prayer. Just pray for someone else. And at night, say a prayer. And thank for the day and pray for someone else that you know that's in worse shape. Pray for those kids in the children's hospital going through cancer. The people in St. Jude's Hospital and the Shriners Hospital. Pray for them. It'll come back to you a hundred times over. And, uh, it's getting dark out. Hey, it is cold. I need to get back inside, eat some of that rotisserie chicken, some chicken soup. Hua. And, oh, by the way, before I forget, freaking ghost stealers kicked their freaking asses. Beat the Patriots. And whoever freaking poisoned you guys with the flu, I hope you kicked their freaking asses. Anybody wants to bet me 20 bucks, just know that, yeah, buddy, if you even won, you would never spend my money. I'm rooting for the Steelers 110% all the way to the Super Bowl. If Trump can win the presidency like he did i know the steelers can win the super bowl out here take care god bless and uh god bless the united states of america and god bless the president and the new administration coming in all the soldiers sailors airmen marines and anybody serving our country that are deployed near and far god bless you and every astronaut that's up there including the chinese the chinese got an international space station americans and russia got an international space station up there that's how americans get to space we have to rely on russians so don't give me any shit that we're not talking to russians and working with them we have to rely on them to get our american astronauts up in space Chinese got an international space station up there. Bet you didn't know that. I bet you guys didn't even know a lot of stuff. China, Japan, and OPEC have most of the American stat. Anyway, take care. Trust in Americans to do right. And as Americans, always do right. God bless.